Hello? There we go, it works. Cool. Hi, so uh, I, Tom Walkinshaw, run a small company called Al Barbersol. Um, we design about uh, very small satellites called Pocket Cubes. We're probably the world leader in that sort of technology, which is under a kilogram satellites, currently for uh, Pocket Cubes in orbit. And we're building our first platform uh, funded by ESA, um, just confirmed the last few weeks. It's called uh, Unicorn One. So we think it's probably the world's most advanced PicoSat, um, definitely the world's most advanced pocket cube. Um, it's a double pocket cube, so it's five by five by about 11 centimeters, so very small. And we've really been sort of focusing on miniaturizing the technology. Uh, scheduled to launch Q4 2016 on Dnieper. So this is the uh, model uh, of Unicorn. So double deployable solar panels, it doesn't have the antennas on it, but we'll have a patch at one end and a helical antenna at the other. So the technology we're doing is a Leo Geo relay. So we sort of believe that this is probably the next generation of uh, the PicoSat, NanoSat revolution for the constellations. Um, the current stuff, Spire stuff, Planet Lab stuff. So based on uh, ground-based infrastructure for downlink, which has some inherent limitations around latency store and carry, so you have some limitations. So the idea is if you could use geostationary infrastructure that's already in space, which is reliable, then you could uh, go for data sets which currently can't be tapped with um, existing nanosat tech. So, uh, so yeah, it's a partnership with Avanti, so we're using one of their uh, geostationary platforms uh, called Artemis, and it's an S-band uh, link. So yeah, this is a spacecraft here, so this is Artemis. It's currently uh, above Congo. It's um, 25, 23 and a half degrees east, I think. So we're using one of the S-band dishes on that. So yes, yeah, so um, this is a, a technology demonstration. The hope is we do a, a number of unicorns, so two, three, four, et cetera, um, before we can sort of prove out the technology um, and prove the link and increase data rates. Um, so we're using actually, it's quite funny, um, to get the licensing started, we're having to use um, the ATV to ISS's uh, uh, frequency allocations. So under international spectrum law, we're actually the ATV, which is, you know, we're just tiny little satellite. So um, we're fully vertically integrated at Um Pretty much everything's designed and built in-house, um, sort of our philosophy on stuff. Um, where possible we design it um, because you know space stuff's expensive and the stuff we're doing is pretty new, pretty cutting edge, so it kind of makes sense to have it all under one roof. So we've developed uh, the world's smallest EPS, so we're qualifying that just now. I've done that last year through a Smart uh, Scotland Awards. Um, we've finished our OBC, um, do our own structures, do our own deployable solar panels, um, we're doing our antennas and passive ACS for the satellite. Uh, so yeah, so comments. So basically, we're a bootstrap startup, and I think we may actually be the first company in history who's bootstrapped their way to orbit for a full platform. I could be wrong in that one. Uh, if someone knows someone else has done it, then kill. Cool. Pretty sure everyone else has taken out some investment. Um, so yeah, so we're obviously we're quite under-resourced, so if anybody can help, then great, you know. Uh, In-kind support, you know, just contacts, whatever, it'd be really appreciated. Um, yeah, we went to uh, do a series of these. So uh, we say this is the first iteration of the technology. It's a fairly low data rate, but as we iterate the technology, we expect to improve that over time. Um, yeah, another thing as well, obviously, this is a great event that Cal's put on. You know, Scotland and Glasgow in particular for the nanosats is really going places. And uh, next year, hopefully, there should be scheduled uh, three different companies building satellites will get launched to lower Earth orbit, which is kind of cool, but you know, maybe we should do a bit be doing more, you know, there's a cluster here, why don't we try and build on that, try and bring in our folks, you know, get more startups happening. There's not much of a pipeline, it's kind of organically just happened, in my opinion at least, you know, we need to figure out how we can, you know, replicate this and get it bigger and better in the future, so. So yes, contact details if you want to get in touch, uh, come grab me after or uh, drop me an email.